Hisuian Decidui is back in the building, ladies and gentlemen. We've updated the team. Shoutouts to uh, about a few people. I don't even remember. I remember DJ mentioned the uh, the Tinglu, and I was like, well, I guess I remember why I didn't use Tinglu because I was trying to structure this more offensively. I didn't notice the ego sweetness until like the end of the team building. So we'll see. Uh, someone else, shoutouts to you. I was like, oh, you know, Jam, you can try uh, SD back. So we'll see. I like banded backs. Uh, so I sort of switched the Dragapult to, to, and then sort of switched the Dragapult to Specs and made the backs caliber um, SD instead. So I switched the, the roles somewhat. Um, and then everything else is about the same as last time. So let's see what that profits us. Um, Greninja is interesting. Uh, in that it's likely lead spikes. Let me look at this guy's team. What can't guard against Ghost Corviknight? That's probably like some kind of Encore Dragon. Eh? Rotom is fucking king. Uh, Ting Lu to shut down the Iron Moth. Rotom for the Azu Dragapult is king. So phase one is gonna involve blowing away that Greninja. Actually, opts for Dragonite turn one. I did not expect the Knight of Dragon. Uh, if only we could just go for the. Uh, he's probably gonna go for um, Hard Sis, which uh, I could Swords Dance. Hard Azu would be an issue. Uh, we'll see. How do I intend to win this? It's my worst case scenario. Glaive Rush. Unless this is Terra Fairy Dragonite. Glaive Rush gives me the most value. Uh, SD SD EQ would probably one shot Azu. Um, if Azu comes in, it's not the end of the world, especially because I have such phenomenal positioning. Um, so he leaves it in. Is he gonna go outrage or something? So he might be banded. Uh, so Dragonite is dead. Interesting. I didn't think so. It's, that's an interesting play because if I just Icicle Crash, you'd have lost this. I don't have Icicle Crash on this. So if I was the bandit set, he'd have lost his Dragonite. Well, Glaive Rush barely missed out on the KO, so I ended up losing Bax, which isn't the end of the world. As I said, Bax was was okay, but not required. Um, so now we're going to U-turn to remove this Dragon. I doubt I won't do 6%, right? Um, so we traded Bax for Dragonite. I'm more than pleased with that trade. Uh, as I said, what I'm looking at here, honestly, is removing the Grin, and then I just Iron Dense Corviknight. Iron Dense. Iron Defense, Corviknight, and Sleep. So my job here is to lure out that Greninja. How would I do so? I can't really lure it out. So what I'll do is lure out the Scizor and I'll roost on it. Well, 206 p. yeah, it's probably, I mean, it could be slower than me. So I lure out the Iron Moth and it's special attack boosting, which means it's gonna fear my Tinglu. Uh, could go a couple different ways so likely dazzling gleam coming out so dazzling gleam terra fairy i told you i need this gone right so i'll give him this substitute uh very interesting i think that was a waste of a substitute considering you know tinglu runs whirlwind um and you can never well i mean you may be able to do it care if you terra if you but i want this gone unfortunately he's gonna stay around but uh, depending on what now no matter what i get if it's Fiery Dance, no, I can't risk him to a KOing me with like a Energy Ball Terra. Like that would be really devastating. I don't have. Because mm -mm. what I'm thinking is that my Polk can one shot him anyway. I want this is gone. Like I can't have him switching on and coming back. Well, I can. I'm thinking, what's the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario is the... What, a Terra... What, Pult should one-shot. Let me see how much Pult does, actually. I said, the worst case scenario would be with a Terra Fairy to a KO. But I just Terra Water and Whirlwind. I'm actually going to Rocks first. Okay, excellent. This is best case. This is best case scenario. Ah... Uh, so that's the case, I can actually just EQ. Yeah. Can just EQ. Uh, a Terra Grass, unless it's Terra Grass Agility, 
All I need is the earthquake damage. So it gives me the moth, which means Corviknight pretty much seals the deal. Um, if he goes Greninja and he's at Balaban, miss. I won't allow it. I shan't allow it. Um, Spadef drop means he may uh, he may dark pulse, but I'm f like almost full Spadef Rotom. So he actually shurikens, which is amazing. So we get to Vol switch here with no drawback. Uh, please, or Rotom, nice, wondrous. And now we get the positioning of. Let me see Shadow Ball. Is it better to Shadow Ball lock? Yes. Also, it covers for any switches he might make, because he might want to switch to Granite. He might not decide to keep it in. Shadow Ball governs everything, and he actually forces in. Because uh, I have the, the Sack and Tinglu. I could U turn out into my Corviknight and Iron Defense, which would steal the deal. I have seen Encore and Azus. I mean, that's pretty rare, but it is a possibility, right? Um, at this point, Decidueye is still at full. Uh, that's why I was thinking about putting a grass move on there. The U-turn was, was beneficial. So here comes the Azu. I think I just shot a ball here. So I'm thinking like, how would... Great timing with the lawnmowers. Um, something it will be a worst case scenario. He drums. He drums. Drum and being jolly would be my worst case scenario. Cause I know he's gonna drum, but he can't knock me out unless it's uh so Terra Water Jet. So we teched here. He's assuming I'm faster, which is good. I need that. If he's Jolly Jet, then he would never knock me out. Did he Terra? He never Terra, did he? Yeah. So he might be like some Terra Ghost Luke or some shit like that. The way he's playing. The way you be playing this. Uh, so we're gonna Corviknight here. Even if it's Terra, uh, okay. Unless he's again Terra Ghost, yeah. It's okay. So I, I was like trying to figure out what the fuck was going on here. Is it Terra Ghost this? Terra Electric. Okay, I'll take that. Terra Blast Electric and his bandit. Okay, I apologize for the, the background noise. But I was trying to figure out what the angle was, right? Because, you know, you want to typically want to assume that the opponent has some kind of angle. So if they're doing something like the way he played his Iron Moth was very confusing to me. Yeah, I'm like, okay, what's, what's the angle? Because I don't have any sets beyond the, excuse me, the decision why that's anything revolutionary, you know? So, okay. He should know that Corviknight would be an issue, potentially, with Iron Defense, especially with such a physical team. Similar thing with this squad. If I bash his gold and goes head in, same shit, right? Um, question is, how would I achieve that? He's super weak to Vax, so I may be able to lower the gold and go in with Vax. And clap it. Um, Someone dragon pulse susceptible, but yeah, yeah, it's out. Rotom is almost impossible to kill unless it's water absorb cloud, which it has to be. He's too water weak. Uh, it's way too water weak. What do I'm looking to? Uh, I'll try to sweep him with with, with Corviknight or. Assault him with Dragapult. Corviknight assault him with Dragapult. Especially since he's not unaware, Claude. Well, I mean, I'm unaware would probably be better. Well, he's likely not a recovery item. It's likely, um... So I'll burn the Claude, which would mean, um, potential Terra Ghost with 2AK after I beat down his Tinglu. So phase one is gonna involve... Claude would be the worst case scenario, wouldn't it? Hmm.
That man's crazy. If it's special, let me think all my worst case scenarios. If it's special, Valiant. It's not booster. I don't want to waste a turn protecting. If it's special, Moonblast, I'll recover enough health. Because uh, I'll take probably 50 something. Valiant special attack isn't that high. If it's banded in CCs, then I will Wisp him. I don't think there's any drawback to the Wisp turn here. I mean, there's drawback at the fact, the fact that I lose health. But, um. Because I think he was trying to guard against my backs potentially being banded, which makes me think, well, he just knows how to structure a lead properly, which is good. Or he knows my team, or both. So, because you know, I say all the time, you want to lead. Which gives me, you want to lead well versus the thing you guard the poorest against. So if backs led and he led like Claude's eye or something, if I click the right move, he loses a mind, which you don't want, right? So, excellent Valiant lead. Does let me know he's not booster. Could be some kind of trick thing. I haven't seen that quite some time. Rodan does like to run protect. And so he doesn't want to scout for that. Uh, but as I said, I mean, Rodan's valuable. But if you look at his, his offensive ones, right? Dragonite. Okay, Specs Blast. That it almost kills me. Um, which is dangerous. Um, does, does commit his Terra immediately. Does commit his terror immediately. I don't think I get to it till that quarter. But he commits his terror immediately, which is good news, which means I don't have to be concerned about anything else terroring. Um and once my back's caliber, I if if that's not Scarf Goldingo, once back swords dances, I could sweep him straight up. So let's see how much this is doing. If I get to a kill, I'm in trouble. It's close. It's too close. If I die I don't lose. But I don't want to risk. Yeah, I was like, there's no way that had to be a high ass roll. I need to keep the Corviknight alive so I can switch in on two more again. Uh, so it's okay, Tingle. Okay, 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 Tingle. Um, triple arrows. Sprite Valianting. I love Gold Ingo. I'm surprised he just Tinglewed on rocks. We can't leave. If he gets reckless with the Tinglu, then that's going to open up my backs. And it's going to open up my Dragapult, so no complaints. Um, again, Goldengo is a wild play. If he goes hard, Goldengo, he might know my team. Ah, uh, Clausaria. Yeah. This probably has, um, this probably has, uh, what's it called? Yeah, T-Spike's interesting. That's not good. I don't like that. And it's Black Sludge. Mm, I do not like that. Toxic Spikes is horrible. So, either... Well, no, Toxic Spike could be his only hazard. I was gonna say, he might not have Toxic. But Toxic Spike can be his only hazard. Um, so I'll Brave Bird here to see what the... Um, so T Spikes again. Brave Bird to see what the so now I can go to Decidueye. Yeah, I figured Goldingo would come in. The triple arrows, make your rain's gonna hurt. It's not specs. Oh, that damage is sexy. Uh shit, I don't wanna risk the Valiant coming in. D5. Woo! Plays! That's a low, lowish risk. I mean, if it didn't work out, it wasn't the end of the world, but I definitely could, could have lost a lot that turn. Now my Corvina is not at full, so he can take um, a member with the Moonblast. Um, the beauty of it, the beauty of it all, because now, uh, I mean, he could leave the Valiant, and I'm willing to take the risk on the Corvina as he does risk it, because uh, I think I still live to right. Um, uh, don't live to. With that said, it's nothing that loses me the game if it doesn't go my way. Um, he took a high risk play there with the Valiant. Now all I need is rocks and I saw his answer. I guess I'm risking the, the, the Great Tusk being something, right? Okay. So 
Tingmu comes in. Um, because another thing that's a problem for him is the decidua itself. I can't go back yet. So when the triple arrow is hard, I'm pretty confident he's going to leave this in. Um, yeah, she goes hard, Dango. This means I'm going to lose my mind to his Valiant. Okay, fair enough. Mm, Corviknight dying is a big deal. I didn't think I'd get to it, KO'd. But the roll was close, so... I'm not too super shocked it did 50. The roll was somewhere in there. And this is why there's never enough spadev to live, even if I Terra. Super high risk play on the uh, Valiant. I could have Hydroed. I should have Hydroed actually. I forgot I had Hydro Pump. I literally forgot I had it. I could have just Hydroed and chipped the Tinglu. I don't even need to necessarily. Um, again, if he stays in with the Valiant, he loses the game immediately. So I didn't think he'd risk it that turn. But I'm not making any plays that if it doesn't go my way, I can't come back from. Because Tinglu is a big problem for him to KO. If I play the game correctly, I can batter him down with that. Um, so we're going to do is Baxcalibur, Ice Shard. I think this kills. I mean, I'd be very shocked if it didn't. There's no counterplay anyway. I mean, it's literally a mono weak to Ice Team. Um, this is where Crash would be blessed. It's probably going to tingle. It goes Great Tusk. Great Tusk is a wild play. Must be... It's not offensive. Which means... Hmm. Issues that the fucking quasi are my toxic. I mean, to leave your great tusk in here would be wild, but I think he will. What's my worst case scenario? My worst. I can't have. I can't have Tinglu coming in. Ugh, I'm missing fucking Icicle Crash. Icicle Crash won me this game. Straight up. That's a defensive Tusk. Or at least a no HP Tusk. So I'll do a Swords Dance first. Whirlwind's the best he has. Okay, so he doesn't Whirlwind. Glaive should one shot this. It's gonna be close because um, the Dragonite can E speed, obviously. So it gives me Claude, which is blessed. Um. If he EQs, you know it's funny. I thought about putting Terra Ghost on this instead. Uh hmm. I let the Valiant do too much work. The risk versus reward of the U turn wasn't worth it. Hmm. How can I pull this off? So it does E speed, which I figured, but it's not really the issue. If I double back. Hold. I have to play the backs differently. The backs will have to be the support mine. Again, the icicle crash, not having crash is a big deal. EQs. I need to um
I SD, I one shot the tusk. She's probably gonna go too. That's my best play here. I don't think it matters. I don't think I can win. Because the I need to damage the Dragonite. I can't damage it. Uh, if I tear a dragon, I could win. But, um. Because even SDing on the Tusk, I'd one shot it, but it'd be Tinglu versus Dragonite. Mm, maybe that can work. Oh, he sacks the D Knight. I don't know why he did that. He just threw. Thank God I fucking didn't Swords Dance. Because I did think about Swords Dancing. He threw. Unless it's a Scarf Tusk. Right. Then goes to Tusk of all things. Uh. Maybe AV. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. If he's AV. If he's AV, I still can win. It's fine. Sorry about the, the background noise. Whew. Okay. Alright then. Ruination. Can't make this shit up, bro. I truly cannot make this the fuck up. I truly cannot make this the fuck up. I need to get this. Uh... Can I make this the fuck up? That might lose me the game. Twenty percent EQ. Let's go for the roll. I have a little bit of speed on it. I might just lose me the fucking game. That's fucking lame as shit, man. Wow. <laughs> okay. I mean, I gave my opponent too many openings. Ideally, you don't want to lose the hacks. You lose Miss Fucking Draco and Ruination in a row to lose the game. But it is what it is. Um, when it's blatant like that, it's not even worth the the rage. Plus, I'm a little annoyed by the fucking. All right, so hopefully the fucking lawnmower isn't too bad, man. A bit did kill my vibe a bit, just because you know, it's like, man, we made these edits. That would have been a quick, easy 850 and get into the 1900s. Um, just to have no reward for it, you know. Uh, Sneezler is too big of an issue on lead. So it's very interesting that he were in Amorous. And Amorous is a wild play. That gives me a lot of insight. Like, why the fuck would you in Amorous there? <laughs> and then just Moonblast. It's just wins. Yeah. It's probably scarfed. Uh, otherwise, I don't understand the logic here. Um, so we're gonna do. I don't have enough data, but this cover is all my bases. Yeah, so it is. It is scarf. So okay. So no, or it's not scarf. It's I could have went to to Dragapult. Uh, Rotom being weakened matters a bit, but nothing too crazy because there's nothing on his team. In fact, Decidueye is going to eat. Honestly, once I get rid of that Heatran, I'm thinking how I can lure the Heatran in. So I get rid of that Heatran. Um, it's a wrap, truth be told to you. So phase one's going to involve the Pult because we want we want a one uh, I think Mindless Samurai is likely. This must be Sash. Do I risk this being Scarf? Fucking Greninja. What are the odds of that? If it's Scarf, what? Scarf, Protein, Ice Beam? Am I really willing to risk this? Like, do I, let me see. What's the risk versus the Do I lose the game? If he's Scarfed. I don't. I still could 6 on him with Corviknight, but he'd be able to fucking use that Sneezer's move on me. Hmm. Cause I mean his first plays didn't make any, I'm gonna fucking, he goes Scarf, wow. 
I was like, there's no way he's fucking Scarf. But he was. He was Scarf. I don't lose a game, as I said, but it doesn't matter. A Scarf fucking grin. Great. It doesn't mean he's weaker, so... What do I want to do? Any sash mons? Fucking scarf ice beam grenade. Right there. Hmm. So I'll, I'll aim to force the the um. What's his face to come in early? This Amazenta, right? To come in early. Um, if I Terra Dragon, I don't want to Terra because I need the Terra Water to ensure I beat this trend. But he can't guard against Tinglu though. Tinglu's EQs are just dastardly, you know what I mean? Just fucking motherfuckers up. But I did a lot. I don't think, is that the normal damage? Is that like defensive? Whatever, I'll go to roll him. If he aren't defenses, he does. Say body presses doesn't tell me too, too much. But that's perfect, because now the game's probably over. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to go for um, iron defense upon me. Uh, he body presses straight up. Okay. Nah, I just body press back. And the odd chance he tries to go to trend. There's no downside in body pressing this turn. See, Sneezler's. Sneezler's a wild play. Uh, does she get Encore? Fire oh, defense again. Okay, so he's just wasting time. So he's asking. That's great. I'll kill it. I didn't I prefer it to not to have been CC'd there. Now he goes to Tran. As I roost into body press. Unless this shit has Will O Wisp. That would kill my vibe. I mean, I Terra Water Roost Body Press. I could Terra. No, no, I need to Terra first. I wanted the Sneezler gone. That's why I didn't want to Terra Water. Because I didn't want it Dire Claw Haxing me. But that could matter, right? But as I said, you know, from a risk versus reward standpoint, when I thought about him being Scarf Grenade, you know, I scanned it. I'm like, eh, you know, it'd probably be smarter to switch the fuck out, but I'm not going to. In fact, here, I don't even need a Terra. But at this point, there's no downside to it. The only downside is if this has Grass Knot. But it could be Terra Water Hydro Pump. I'm sure it was. So that was a downside. He body press right now. 32%. I don't want any damage on me. Yeah, because he ends up going Zenta anyway. I just Iron Defense again to ensure. Jeez, that missed. It's fucking missed. This is packing Grass Knot. Yeah. But it's not enough. I figured it wouldn't do shit to me. It's just a fucking scarf brand. And obviously the last two loses to everything I have. Like the backs and the things. So. Um, got a bit of redemption points wise. But last game was some bullshit. Bro. How are you going to miss Draco and Renation? So as you saw in the end game. If I hit the Draco on the. Because I was thinking like. There must be some other. Like why the fuck would you sack Dragonite. And then go to Great Tusk. Knowing if I go Pult. What did I have? Pult and Tinglu. If I went to either of them, you'd be in a bad situation. You know? So I'm thinking, okay, there must be some secret sauce here. But he already Terra, so it can't be that. Um, no, you just would have lost straight up. So that's one um, one lesson, you know, you never give up. Right? Because I, I thought I couldn't win. Cause I, okay, how would I lose? How would he lose here with the... Uh, I don't remember how I got in that situation. I, oh yeah, I, I fucked up with the Valiant giving it too much value. But yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. Hit the like button down below. Um, team could still be modified a bit. But yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.